In the early years of the 20th century, the Moffat Tunnel near Denver, Colorado was built. It was made possible by drilling techniques that became state of the art and are in use to this day. The tunnel was conceived by David Halliday Moffat Jr. A railroad pioneer and businessman, he was determined to connect the city of Denver with the transcontinental line. Early in 1902, at the age of 63, David Moffat announced his intention to build a railroad over the roof of the continent. He called it the Denver Northwestern and Pacific. It connected Denver with Salt Lake City. It became known as the Moffat Road with its route through scenic Rollins Pass. But during the winter months, Rollins Pass was frequently closed for weeks at a time because of blizzards. The railroad was not showing a profit. A tunnel would be the answer. A tunnel that would allow the trains to escape the snow of Rollins Pass and become profitable. David Moffat died on March 18, 1911. But his dream of a tunnel through the Continental Divide would not die with him. Moffat had had this dream of a tunnel, uh, which was not built until uh, long after uh, his death. It was finally built by the Moffat Tunnel Commission, drilled through the Rockies west of Denver, completed about 1928, as I recall, and was, I think, briefly the longest tunnel in North America. It was an extremely interesting, difficult project. The green light for the construction of the tunnel was given in June of 1923. Camps were set up at the east and west portals and digging began. Unlike the Hussack Tunnel that caused the deaths of so many men, the Moffat Tunnel was, for the most part, considered a model of railroad building safety. There was a strong sense of community, and during the five years of construction, life in both portal camps was good. So was the pay. The average worker earned $5.15 for an eight-hour shift, a high salary for that time. The mess halls were open 24 hours a day and food was abundant, which kept worker morale high. Entire families lived at the sites. Babies were born here too. The first baby born at East Portal was named Thelma. Her father was one of the tunnel workmen. New life was welcome, but death made its presence felt also. On July 30th, 1926, a serious accident occurred in the West Portal. 125 tons of rock fell from the roof, killing six men. 28 men in all would die during its construction, but in railroading, this was considered a good record. A new drill was developed here that would become state of the art. Called the Lewis Traveling Cantilever Girder, it allowed the project to continue after geological conditions halted work in the West Portal. The girder was a mechanism that excavated the top of the tunnel and then supported the roof as the bore was increased under it. On February the 12th, 1927, after almost four years, the West Portal workers broke through to the east. Celebrations followed. The tunnel was officially dedicated on February 26th, 1928. David Moffat's dream of putting Denver on the main line was to be fulfilled. Finally, the Denver and Rio Grande was the line. The trains found momentary sanctuary during the winter months in the Rocky Mountain. The tunnel was, for a time, the longest in the United States at 6.21 miles. It had taken 48 months to bore and cost $15,600,000. It conquered the unconquerable, the Continental Divide. It was driven by the vision of one man, David H. Moffat. He was uh, uh, truly a visionary, and, and he had the ability to convince people that his, his ideas and, and, uh, uh, were, were correct and would work. The Moffat Tunnel is the latter-day uh, marvel um, and, and one of the latest uh, uh, 
bits of railroad construction that uh, was undertaken in the early part of the 20th century that was critically needed. The, the traffic volumes by 1920 were such east and west uh, that there, was, there were bottlenecks being created trying to get across the Continental Divide and uh, the Moffat Tunnel just expedited that whole process. During World War II, as many as 30 passenger freight and troop trains passed through the Moffat in a single day. Since 1983, Amtrak's famous California Zephyr has used the Moffat Tunnel on its run from Chicago to San Francisco. A tunnel was one way to tame a mountain, but sometimes you just had to climb over it. Thank you.